Here's a Facebook message that we got from Shannon. All my coworkers are going to Las Vegas for the weekend and invited me. I want to go to get to know them better, but I'm not sure if gambling just for fun is a sin. Is it still fin- is it still sinful if I'm not addicted to it? Shannon, thanks for thank you for that that question. I think it's neat that your coworkers want to spend time with you, and yeah. you know you're you're a believer. You love the Lord Jesus, and I I think you know you look at the Gospels and the the associations, the friendships that our Lord Jesus had, the table fellowship. I mean, he was often being accused of sin or even he, he's, he's a glutton and a wine bibber. Why? Because he's with the tax collectors. He's with people who aren't followers of God in the, in the traditional sense. And he received a lot of criticism for that. And I just think, you know, it, we as Christians— shining the light of Christ to whoever God brings around us, not distancing ourselves. And so I think it's neat that, that your coworkers want to spend time with you. Um, he, I, I really think this is a wisdom issue. Um, is it wise for you to go to Vegas with your coworkers and gamble with them? Uh, and that's a, that's a question that you're going to have to I, Personally, and Mike, I don't know where you are on this, so I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. I don't know that, you know, if you got together with some friends and played cards or did something like that, I'm not sure that that in and of itself is is a sin. I wouldn't say that that's a sin. But we do know that gambling really does consume the lives of a lot of people. And you're right. That that kind of um, gambling is enslaving and it's sinful. And just the wisdom behind using your money in that way, boy, how many lives are destroyed because of individuals or, or, or fathers, mothers who are addicted to things like gambling or even you think of uh, uh, many people, you know, who they've they've sort of lived their lives, they're retired now, and they just spend most of their days at the casino. Um, right. And, and you, there are statistics on this. It's just horrible. It, it can swallow people up. But you're right. It's, an, it's a wisdom issue. Uh, you know, if, if a Christian, um, uh, you know, says, I'm going to I'm going to spend $50, I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm just going to have fun. That's like f- spending $50 to go to a football game or a movie or a movie. Yeah. I, I'm. But I'm, you know, I'm I'm setting that limit. Um, then you know, that's that's different from from I think somebody who who says I don't believe God's providing for me, and I'm going to gamble because I want to win. Mm-hmm. I want to I want to, uh, you know, I don't trust in the Lord to provide for my needs. Um, so that's a hard issue, right? And you can do that with buying lotto tickets. You can do that with. Uh, you know, investments. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the main thing here is is the heart. Are, you know, having fun within limits is different from indulging the flesh. Yeah. And so I think you just have to use your wisdom on this. That's right. One encouragement I would have for you, Shannon, is if you do go on the trip and you're gone for the weekend with your coworkers, find a good church where you can yeah. worship on Sunday. I mean, you can you can still shine as a Christian and go and worship and invite, See if they'll come with you. Yeah, invite them to come with you. I think that that's I think that that's powerful. Mm-hmm. A lot of people outside of the church, they just assume, well, Christians are going to judge me. They don't want anything to do with me. And so there, there's a sense in which I think by your by your love for and in, intentionality in terms of pursuing these relationships, you're you're breaking down barriers, yeah. walls, and Absolutely. you're showing them, yeah, this is what Jesus did. That's right. And if you give half of your winnings to core Christianity, that's right. Yeah, then it'll be totally wiped out anyway. So, <laughs> thank you for that question.